Good morning. Random office chairs. It's about 9.30 in the morning. And this is another reason, among the countless reasons why I love this country. 9.30 in the morning, my breakfast is gonna be, oh, you can eat Korean barbecue. This place is a famous 24-hour all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant. But I forgot one important detail this morning. So, so recently raised to level two um, because of COVID. So all the restaurants must close by 9 p.m., including this one. So uh, they're just about to open. I I've been staying here for about an hour waiting for them to open now. But usually this will be 24 hours. But because of these crazy times, they had to modify his hours. But it'll be open soon. Really nice, he saw me standing outside and they're gonna let me uh, wait in here while they heat everything up and open. Good thing about having Korean barbecue for breakfast, nobody else here. And for an extra 50 cents, um, you can buy their, their self-serve bar, which I'll show you, with tons of veggies and panchan. All right, time for breakfast. So there's different cuts of meat. There's the top blade, the sirloin, and this is the best. This is the kalbi. Look at the fat on that. And then there's some pork jaw. Merry breakfast. Mm. So happy. You know, Korean barbecue makes me happy. And eating it as the first meal of the day makes the whole day better. Every piece, so juicy. Also, charcoal grill. It's preserved so much of that great smoky flavor. A little wasabi on your meat. This is the best breakfast I had in Korea so far. Oh, that pork is amazing too. I'm trying to eat this as quickly as possible because I cooked everything and, and it's kind of burning on the grill right now. So best cut, kalbi for sure. With that sirloin too. Actually every piece, so much juice. Also dipping it in a little sesame oil, salt and pepper. Really no wrong way to eat Korean barbecue. And this thing, even though it's a lot of meat, you can eat a ton of vegetables with it. Like a little sam, meat, kimchi, chilies, sauce, wrap it up. I think those of you guys who are on keto right now, South Korea would be the best place. I mean, you just eat this stuff every day. Okay, round two. There's something about wa watching meat grill right in front of you, it's just sizzling and crackling and it's, you know, wintry weather outside, it's freezing cold. There's something so comforting about that, especially when a little bit of the fat drizzle down to the charcoal, you get a little fire going. I just wanna like put my hands here and just pretend I'm kind of sitting in a, in a circular little mini fireplace where life could be good again. Hey, you have your way to de-stress, I've got mine. This is one of my favorite things about being in South Korea. Korean barbecue is one of my all-time favorite things to eat in the world. And to be able to just find places that are 
always open. Well, during normal times. And just whenever you have a craving to be able to just know that somewhere out there, there's a place like this that's open and ready for you. You can see how much shoes is in the meat. Every time you touch it a little bit, fire just shoots up. I was finally able to like not concentrate on filming, just concentrate on cooking for a little bit. Holy cow. Also, I love the affordability of this place. Something like this, like as much beef as um, I'm eating right now, easily $50, $60 at a regular Korean barbecue place. This place, all you can eat for I think 18,000 won, 19,000 won, that's like $18. You're not gonna find that anywhere outside of Korea. Also, I just found out this place, Muso, actually means unlimited Korean beef. But just because it says that, don't sleep on that pork. That pork jaw is amazing. In Korean barbecue places, and hot pots are like one of the only times I drink soda. I love Chosun Cider. My favorite thing to drink here. And the staff here is so nice. Um, I just found out the uh, the pork chop normally isn't part of the, the buffet, but they, they're so nice. They brought some for me. Oh, that was a piece of the blade. You cooked that blade meat right, perfection. And also what I love is, you see right over there, every time I look over there by that big rice cooker, there's, there's new plates of beef waiting for me. So as soon as I'm running low, I run over there and grab a new plate and the party continues. Round four. I like my pork a little toasty on the outside. You get that great sear, so you can trap all that juice in. It provides a tiny bit of crunch when you munch on it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of salt olive oil. That just brings a smile to your face. And that's really uh, why I started this channel. I remember, I never thought I was gonna, you know, amount to anything, but I just remember like eating food, and this is different for everybody. When I'm eating food, just, during that meal, I kind of like transport it into, into like, a, like a different space where it's really not a lot of stress, there's not a lot of worry, it's just kind of pure joy and happiness. And I think we all need some of that, especially right now. Ooh, my meat just fell into the salt pile. It's gonna be a salty bite. So good. Just finished it, looked over. Right here, like magic. All right, since I'm still getting lunch after this, I'm gonna cap it at eight rounds. After all that beef, I feel a little wobbly, but since I didn't get to eat any cold noodles during that barbecue, I'm looking for some cold noodles. There's a really, really good place I wanna go to. I think some cold noodles right now will, will just balance me out. Oh, another Mala Tang place. That looks good too. This place, all you can eat bibimbap, but it's closed. No. Not that I was gonna eat it today, but I wanted that. It's all you can eat bibimbap. Who doesn't want that? All right, so this is the place. This is the place, got, they got a liao mian, cold noodle, and with, it looks like grilled pork. Okay. Can I eat more? I can eat more. So many famous people can hear <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to force my, my, the beef I just ate into like a different section of my stomach. So I have like space for the noodles, but this looks really, really good. So this is pretty popular place. A lot of K-pop people have been here. You get the spicy cold noodles. If you've never had cold noodles in Korea, it's one of my favorite things, especially like I like eating this with barbecue um, because you can wrap this around the meat and it tastes spectacular. So I'm kind of sad I didn't have this during the last place, but check it out. They give you barbecue meat. This is the first time I've been to where you order the noodles and they give you barbecue meat. All this for around uh, $6. So pretty. I don't even want to damage this. It looks like a nest with the, with the egg on top. Cucumber, radish, oh, beautiful cold noodles.
Oh, this is so good. It's like the noodle that never ends. It's weird to say that I feel like this is exactly what I need after just eating meat nonstop for the last hour and a half. Chilies are wonderful. The subtle sweetness from the radish. The noodles are so springy, so springy. You let me bungee jump off a bridge with this, I feel pretty safe. What's amazing, they give you this little plate of pork. I'm just gonna pick a fatty piece. Use the noodles to wrap it up. That pork is good too. Also, when you feel like something warm, sip of soup. Add a bit of vinegar and some mustard. And what's even better about this is that sometimes I can't choose between whether I want the chili noodles, the, the one that's kind of not soupy and kind of dry, or the soup noodles. Here, don't need to choose at all. They bring you both. Best of both worlds. That's pretty perfect after a barbecue. I feel like there really is a, is a section of my stomach where barbecues go and in a, a section where noodles go. Like I'm chowing down on these noodles. It's like, it's like my first meal of the day. For those of you guys who are fans of One Piece, dun dun, dun dun dun. This is the shop. So there used to be a cafe here, but this is it's just a shop now. Whoa, it's way smaller than it looks. It looks huge. Just passing by my way to a burger. That's right. Oh, you can eat Korean barbecue? Noodles? Now burger. It's only like one o'clock. <laughs> there we go, 60s burger. So what they serve here is a $3 burger. It looks pretty big. Look at it for a $3 burger. I gotta say, this is another burger that looks like an In-N-Out burger. I feel like most Korean burger chains I've been to, it looks like an In-N-Out burger. I mean, it looks good, but they all kind of look the same. Well, this is not a $3 burger. This is more like a $3.50 burger. Um, I got a double patty, but it looks really good. Two patties, freshly grilled cheese on top, lettuce, tomatoes. Tastes like in and out fries. That's a delicious burger. But I don't think I've ever been into like a layer of lettuce that's bigger than a beef patty. Look at this. <laughs> look, at my, look at the size of my patty. Look at the size of my lettuce layer. There is so much veggies on this burger. Does my mom work in the kitchen? I tend to like this side more than this side. Beef patties, you can tell, nice and fresh. Again, if they cook it on the spot for you, cheese is melty. Vegetables, I'll even pay them a compliment. Fresh, refreshing, crunchy, juicy. Overall, really solid burger for not a lot of money. Mm. After this, going back for some amazing milk tea. Whoa. Oh, there's a little arcade machine. I would want to take that home if I lived around here. Oh, that's so cute. So good. I never tried the sparkling chandelier before. I'm gonna try that. Uh, they have these cool bottles of uh, milk tea as well. In this place, they have uh, tea courses as well. Um, it's probably one of the best milk tea places I've found in Seoul. Let's save this for later. Ah. That's a cute cat. This is so cool. So it's black tea ice cubes and it put sugar on the side of the cup so you can take a sip. So you sip it kind of like a margarita and the straw is just to kind of stir things up. Oh wow. It just tastes so pure. Like from a mountain stream of tea. Amazing tea flavor, slight bitterness, nice citrusy flavor from the lemon. Not too sweet, perfectly sparkly. By far my favorite tea shop in South Korea. So far I found my favorite dessert shop and my favorite tea shop. After this, to prevent myself from transforming into a dumpling, I'm gonna go back and hit the gym. See you then. 
Speaking of workouts, like almost every park I've been to around Seoul always had tons of these like pretty cool workout equipment. So if you can't find a gym, especially, I mean, maybe not now because it's pretty cold, but especially in the summer or fall when, it, when the weather is not bad, it's pretty nice to work out around here. You go by the river and you get a good workout in. Smells so good. Oh, it's the garlic oh, it's bread. the garlic bread. That's sweet. Oh my god, that bakery smells so good. As soon as I got off the train, they they serve those uh, really famous garlic bread. But for some reason, garlic bread in this country is sweet. It's like a dessert. It's not a good thing. It's, at least I'm not used to it. It's way too sweet. It's good on the first bite, but after that, kind of feels like you're eating dessert. Good morning. Today, I feel a lot better. <laughs> Last night, I didn't eat anything after the all-you-can-eat barbecue. Oh, I had a milk tea, but that's about it. So that's kind of my way of trying to keep healthy. It's not trying to, it's not overstuffing myself every single meal. But today, it's lunchtime. I'm starving. Got a good place to show you guys. My eating partner, Krista, is with me. Hello again. We're neighbors, by the way, so that's why we're like, <laughs> every day, like, let's go eat something. <laughs> Was that? Oh, makes me homesick a little bit. They have the every part of the pig. Yeah, like the pork belly and the neck and Ooh, the. Ooh, I like every part of the pig. Even the tail. You ever had it? It's good. All right. Unfortunately, they only have barbecue starting at 1 p.m. Come see me, da. It's okay. It's okay. Got another good place. This looks amazing. Two pots of chicken. It's a completely different way of cooking. One looks like scallions, potatoes, glass noodles, braised in this chili sauce. The other one looks like chili's udon noodles, slices of fatty beef. Looks like it's braised in a soy sauce type broth. So much happiness. It's about to enter my mouth. Mm. Oh, that's great. It's a slightly sweet soy sauce based broth and the flavor steeped in so well. It kind of tastes like a three cup chicken. I don't know if you guys ever had a three cup chicken, um, a Taiwanese dish. It kind of tastes like that. A little sweet, a little spicy, but a lot of amazing umami flavors. And they all have potatoes cooked in, which is the best ingredients when it comes to like super flavorful soups and broths also. Look at that noodle. This thing's changed color already. Yeah, very similar to a three cup chicken. And the meat is so tender. Definitely eat it with kimchi. A little vinegary flavor goes hand in hand with this. I just bit into a potato. Oh, I love that potato. I might like that more than the chicken. It's gonna be a pot of potatoes boiled in this broth. Luckily on the other side, it's mostly potatoes. That's the best way to eat this. A star is not just the chicken. It is definitely the broth too. The set is more of the traditional gochujang flavors. I can't decide which one I like more. This one is deeper flavors, and this one just spicier. Ain't no rule saying you can't combine the two. Take some of the fatty beef. Take it for a little swim in the chili sauce. Same thing with the chicken. It's 
same great umami flavor, a little more spicy. That was a successful integration. Ain't nobody calling foul on that. Speaking of foul, the only reasonable thing to eat after eating some chicken is, gotta eat a duck. There's a really good duck place nearby. I'm gonna finish this first. You like that? Oh yeah, it smells really That's like good. That's good chicken. That's really good chicken. I don't even usually like chicken that much. Like fried chicken is good. Yeah. But that but was that good chicken. chicken. Yes. Okay, now we gotta go eat duck. Oh, so cute. I don't even want to eat it anymore. All right, let me, let me just explain what transpired on this hot plate right here. So this is half a duck. It's, it's a lot for half a duck. Mushroom goes in and, and he put the, uh, the veggies, the, the chives and potatoes downstream from the duck. So all that great duck fat leaks onto the potatoes and the chives cooking the vegetables. And then he comes over with this bucket of garlic and I'm thinking, how much are you gonna put it? Plus like 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 a cup full of garlic onto the duck meat. So this thing right now is just infused with chilies and garlic and the even the vegetables look absolutely divine. Let's eat. What's the equivalent of uh, let's eat in Korean? <laughs> what she what she what, what she said. Nice little delicious duck. Tender, juicy, fatty, covered in garlic. Mm. Even that rice cake is so good. Mushrooms, everything. Duck is so fatty. Mm. Incredible amounts of flavor. And it gets better as you chew, as that duck fat kind of breaks down your mouth onto your tongue. And you got so many bunch on here. Mm. Apparently this is a native Korean vegetable. Mmm, oh, that's really refreshing. This is one of those um, restaurants that we were walking around, we kind of, it kind of popped up and we, we looked into it. Ratings weren't great, but it looked really good. So give it a shot, I'm glad we did. I like this place, very good place. I can't believe this is half a duck. I thought it was a whole duck. No, I wish we got a whole duck actually. We wanted to get a whole duck. Then we saw the reviews, we we're like, oh, maybe we should just get a half duck. Always trust your food instincts. Always be careful with this, especially when you get to the bottom without the seeds. I think the extra heat is perfect for the duck, but please remember, professionals only, okay? Especially when you get down here, that'll let you up. This whole meal is about $30 for two people, and you get so much panchan, and they actually give you quite a large amount of duck. I think it's pretty worth it. We're about to walk out, but then uh, the owner brought out this bowl. Of, look at this. I think it's sesame noodle soup. I think these are handmade noodles. I had this last time. <sighs> Can't leave without eating this. Mmm. Gorilla. Gorilla noodles. Oh, it's so nice. I had something similar to this last time I was here. It just ground up sesame in the broth. Oh, it's so fragrant. It's kind of like eating a, uh, a sesame paste, but like a savory version. Good thing to kind of tie everything I ate today together. Just got back home and it's hitting me hard. Nap attack. So I'm gonna take my bow bay and head over to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you later.